Here's a stat. I've applied to 13 schools. I applied to high energy theory, so it's the sort of things you might think of when you think like theoretical physics, like you know, string theory, or maybe black holes, the origin and fate of the universe. These are some things that are interesting to me. And hopefully we get at least one good result. That'd be great. That would be very, very, that'd be very great. Basically, I haven't looked at any graduate online forums. Like I haven't looked at Grad Cafe or anything, anything else, maybe on like YouTube or Reddit, uh, no social media. So, so all my reactions are going to be genuine. You know, I can't promise that you're going to get something explosive because I, I might not even react that way off camera, uh, but even on camera, I'm not very used to being filmed. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens there. And, and hopefully, you know, we, we, get, we get at least one good result. Great news, guys. I just got an email from a professor at Brown and they want to interview me. They're going to be asking about my research and telling me a bit about the program, but it's, it's certainly a good sign. It means that something at least sort of went right. They said I was one of the top candidates. So that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. So I just got finished with the Brown interview. I have like 10 minutes before class, but I'm gonna give you a recap, everything. So Brown interview went okay. Um, I feel like I kind of fumbled, but I also got an interview with, with Yumish like just before the interview with Brown. And then also, I got an email from, from UW-Madison uh, about a fellowship nomination. I was like, oh, what the heck? But then it was like, in the very end, it was like, P.S. Uh, look out for, for an admissions letter. I was like, yo, that's crazy. I'm not going to be jobless. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> I'm just going to say, what's probably. good? We're up with the, we're, we're here with the <laughs> physics oh. friends. We're here. We're doing it. All right. You Chicago sent an email. You know, this, this may or may not be good, but... Okay, so this may or may not be good, but we're gonna check to see what, what UChicago has to say with the physics buds. All right, log in. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, dang it. Oh, That's an L. Good. All good. right, good. all right. We'll don't worry, dude, dude, don't worry. If you got in, you had to get a little room alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's, okay. Okay. it's really, it's really a plus. Yeah, it's 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 okay. It's okay. All right. Yeah. So there we go. View Chicago done. Okay. So I just got an email from Stanford saying that the decisions are out. Um, also today has been really busy. I've been running around campus. It's been wild. I'm out of breath, as you can tell. I'm gonna just bike back here, but okay. So uh, let's. See what happens. Um, logging in. So I, I didn't get an interview from them, um, and so I don't, I don't know what to expect. New view update. Here we go. Dang, rejected. Oh, that sucks. That's that's too bad. That's too bad. Obviously expected, um, since it's a very very hard school to get into. Uh, but nonetheless, disappointing still because uh, it would have been really nice to, to have gone there. Oh well, so it goes. Okay, already been a really busy day. Only got like three hours of sleep last night, so everything's been a haze. But what's not been a hallucination today is the email I got from the University of Michigan. I got in, guys. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. But yeah, I actually opened it during a little break we had and class, and my heart skipped a beat because I was like, oh my gosh, University of Michigan. So I didn't really get to film my reaction. I didn't, well, I didn't really have a reaction that much either. So it, it was just kind of like, I probably like got wide-eyed for like half a second. And I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then I got back to learning cosmology. Super fortunate to be, to have gotten into such a, such a good school for, for high energy physics. Oh. And I forgot to mention, last week or so, I had an interview with a theoretical physics professor at UMesh, and they said I was a really strong candidate, which was already a good sign. And um, the rest of the interview went really, really well. We had a really nice chat. I learned a lot about their departments. They obviously learned a lot about me. And so I sort of had a, a good feeling about this, this decision before it was going to come out. All right, so this just in, uh, just opened an email. From Caltech, did not get in, very unfortunate. 
Um, yeah, it's it a pretty short email, nothing too crazy. Um, they're just like, yeah, sorry, sorry, you can't accept you. So yeah, no California for me, but at least at this point we have, we have two schools. All right, so in rapid succession, actually just a few minutes after I stopped recording the previous video, I also got a decision from MIT and I did not get in there either. Again, pretty, pretty, pretty unfortunate, but, um, and a bit, a bit heavy, heavy handed of them to, uh, you know, do the, the double teaming, but, um, yeah. Uh, I do not feel good about myself right now. Also, why did they release these things on like Valentine's Day? All right. Okay. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, today, just recently now, actually, Harvard's decisions came out. So let's open those. What was my password again? All right. First Troy. All right. Let's go. Not too hopeful, but we'll see. Here we go. Dang. Okay. Got the L. Again, not, maybe not too unexpected based on how things have been going. Um, what a way to end the week. <laughs> um, and that's Harvard. All right. So just got an email from Tufts um, about an admissions decision. I actually received a notification from one of the people on the committee, presumably, or like the director of graduate admissions or something that had been waitlisted there. I was like, okay, that's fine. So I took the waitlist position. So um, presumably this is a follow-up to that, but all right, let's go. Um, no, oh no, okay. Wait, oh wait, this is, this is just, <laughs> this, is, this is just a formal, this is just a formal letter that I'm on the wait list. <laughs> so that was a bit anticlimactic, but uh, okay, there we go. Surprise, you're on the wait list. Okay, so I was in office hours when this email came to me, um, but I got into ASU, which is great. Um, they had the decision in the like the subject header, so I was kind of already. I, I couldn't I couldn't save my reaction or anything, but it wasn't it wasn't a very uh, showy one to say the least. Anyways, but yeah, ASU that's a that's a good dub. So we're at Detroit Airport after the visit at UMass uh, a couple days ago. I got a uh, notification from NYU about their uh, results. At this stage of the game, it's already mid-March. I'm not really expecting much, um, but we'll see, nonetheless. All right, view decision. All right, reject. Uh, when I first got the email a couple days ago, that's um, I already knew what was in the email. Okay, we're we're in the cafeteria. Uh, having lunch with the physics buds. Yay. Uh, and recently just got a decision from Brown, potentially. Uh, not really expecting much at this point in the game, but we'll see what happens. Wait, let me try to get a better, better angle. <laughs> uh, wait, how do we want to do this? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you have so many chocolate milks, bro. So many, you just saw six bottles of not chocolate milk yeah, yesterday. that's crazy. Oh, here we go. All right, new decision. Don't... Dang it. All right. Well, that was expected. Um, took the L, but that's okay. Have some other options available, so. Okay. Hello, everybody. UPenn admissions decision is here. We can now view the decision online. <laughs> About time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Three, two, one, see ya. Um, nope, rejected. Um, yeah, honestly, that is that is what it is. So uh, it's looking like at this point that the options that I'm most inclined to take are at UW-Madison and University of Michigan. Uh, there's still one school back that we have to yet to hear back from, which is UT Austin. So that is that is the current state of affairs. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, I got the NSF GRFP. Wait, there's no way. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on, okay. What the heck? Oh my goodness. I, I literally just opened the email. Like I saw the email like just right now. It was like NSF GRFP program notification and I opened it. It was just like, congratulations. I was like, yo, I didn't even have to log in anywhere. Wow, I just, I cannot believe, I can't believe I got it. Okay, cause, okay. So let me give you guys some context. Um, right now it's 2 a.m. <laughs> I've been working on topology homework for forever and I've just started astronomy homework and I was just checking my email and I got it. I did. I really did not think that like I would get this because it's just it's just so competitive. Um, I'm curious to see <laughs> if this changes any of my college decision results. I can I can pretty much go wherever for free. Uh, it's just a matter of whether or not the faculty members uh, want to want to waste their time with me, so to say. I did it! Wow, this is this is absolutely incredible. I'm so shocked. What a, that's a nice that's a nice ending at least um, with all of these rejections as it, as it's been uh, it's been it's been <laughs> a bit demoralizing you know getting rejected uh, university after university but that's that that's quite the dub okay wait let me see here um, you've been selected to receive the 2023 NSF GRFP offers three years of support over a five year period um, blah 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 blah. blah. Dang, 37K, I'm gonna be making bank, let's go. Well, I have a new task at hand now. And my new job is to email a lot of graduate schools and we'll see what happens there. But you, you never know, I'll, I'll shoot the shots. Hmm, more things to do. Wow, wow, the story continues. So I've just been doing emails all day and also reaching out to two to three professors at the universities that I got rejected from. Um, and so it's it's quite a whirlwind, to be honest. And I don't know if it's gonna be fruitful at the end of the day, but I guess um, it's good to leave no stone unturned. These next two weeks are going to be um, somewhat uncertain. All right, so uh, I emailed a few professors at the University of Pennsylvania, and one of them got back to me saying that, okay, I'll forward your application materials to the chair or something like that, and they'll get back to you shortly, the physics chair. They got back to me and they said I got accepted, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> um, after so, so the NSF fellowship was really uh, pretty, pretty pivotal here, I guess, in deciding whether or not I'd, I'd be admitted, because now I have an option to go to University of Pennsylvania now. Now my decision becomes perhaps even tougher um, because I was leaning towards the University of Michigan for, for quite some time, and I'm very familiar with their department and the work, type of work that they do. And so um, it's going to take a lot more research on my end to see if UPenn has, is truly, truly a better fit. Hi. <laughs> so I got an email during my fencing class, and I decided to save it for you guys so that it could capture my reactions. Here we are. Decision made from Brown. Um, after I notified them about NSF, it could be a yes, could be a no, uh, but I, I was in contact with the professor there who said they forwarded the matter to the dean of the graduate school, and so um, presumably they at least reconsidered to some extent. Uh, also, excuse the clothes here. I just did laundry and didn't get a chance to fold them yet, but okay. View your decision letter. Um, oh, dang! I got in. <laughs> okay. Um... Wow, so yeah, $550,000 is their, their offer in total value. That's crazy. My net worth is going crazy right now. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, haven't, I have until April 15th to decide and um, as it stands, that's, that's about a week and two days from now. Um, the decision as to which graduate school to go to has been complicated quite a lot in the past week or two. I'm sort of deciding between Michigan, Penn, and Brown right now, but it's quite crazy to think that I've gotten into five pretty good schools um, this application cycle, especially considering, you know, um, applying to high energy theoretical physics, which can be competitive. The future, the future is uncertain. Wow, so many exciting decisions to make. 
in the next <laughs> like nine days. <laughs> I've reached out to other professors at other schools. Some of them, most of them have gotten back to me and said that their admissions is complete. They're not accepting any more students. Um, and obviously two schools have gotten back to me and said, okay, well, we'll take you now. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Just got a formal admission from UPenn, so that's really nice. Um, yeah. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but I also got into UT Austin. Um, technically, they didn't reject me yet, but they sort of just ghosted me. And also at least three other people in the physics group that you actually saw earlier in the video. Um, we just didn't hear back from them at all. And basically, so we, we, we all sort of took that as like a rejection in, in some sense. Um, but NSF helped push me over and then I got in there. And also another update, I didn't email Tufts about who, which waitlisted me, uh, about, about NSF, just because, I mean, I don't think I'd go there anyways, even if I got in, given the options that I had. Um, but now, um, I'm actually just about to commit to the University of Pennsylvania. Um, and I've already thought about this decision for quite some time. And I think that's the right choice based on research interests. It still feels really nerve wracking, even though I've already decided just clicking the buttons to say yes. And so I'm about to do that. Um, and I'm like sort of very anxious because it's five years at least to, 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 to commit to this. A few moments later. I just accepted the offer to uh, University of Pennsylvania. Yeah. We're doing it. <laughs> that is uh, that is the end of this wild doctoral admissions journey. Um, it's been real. I'm also kind of glad it's over because it was a bit stressful at the end there um, with the whole, um, will I get in anywhere, first of all? And second of all, is NSF going to do anything for me in terms of getting into other places? And it turns out it did, which is which is unexpected and a bit unconventional. Um, I guess, and how I got to this place. Um, but yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be attending the University of Pennsylvania this fall. And that, that, that is, that is the end. I've already rejected or declined the admissions offers at all the other schools. Um, and now it's just a matter of closing out the semester and focusing on, uh, finishing strong. So that's been it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.